Big tech leading the sell-off today with names like Facebook, Apple, and Tesla all falling around a percent. Is this the beginning of a bigger fallout? And we ask this question not because of what happened today specifically, but because tech has been weak all week. This as we are watching 10-year yields go and stay at around 1.3 percent. Karen, what do you what do you think? Well, for the, the FANG names that I own, I think of them more on the value side. So like an alphabet, and that's down maybe a little today, but mm-hmm. not a lot. Facebook, I think, is more specifically down on maybe it's this Australia publishing situation, uh, as well as, you know, some of the um, just the, the political cross currents involving Facebook. Um, for names like Apple, I think this issue of rates going higher and maybe the market multiple needing to come down that that kind of makes sense to me. I'm long. Obviously, I don't like it to trade down, but I'm not selling it right here. I really believe in the fundamentals for me of the story of the 5G um, evolution and obviously the services business as well. I'm not in it for the car, just so you know. And um, I'm going to hang on to it. But I also am looking for value that's much more reasonably priced. So for me, one that I've talked about a bunch of times, I bought some more today is FedEx trading at a you know, mid-teens multiple, vastly different than mm-hmm. some of the high-flying tech names. Yeah, yeah, and that really speaks to this notion of a rotation brought on by higher interest rates. And Guy, you know, it's interesting to see, um, you know, the Fed say, you know, inflation's not going to be a problem, it's going to be a temporary spike, et cetera, et cetera. Big banks saying tipping points in terms of the Treasury yield going to be much higher. You know, J.P. Morgan says 2 percent. Citi says 1.7 percent. Nomura says 1.5 percent. And we're at 1.3 percent. What, what do you think unfolds here? Yeah, I'm more in the Nomura camp at one and a half percent. To me, that, you know, that had been, again, that, for years that had been support on the way down, finally broken. You saw how low rates went. So we'll see what happens if and when we get there. And by the way, I do think we're going there. And I do think, listen, cheap, low rates, zero interest rates has been one of the, one of the pillars of this tech trade, not entirely the, the, the only foundation, but one of the pillars. And you knock that out, then some of these companies have to stand on their own. Karen makes a great point. For Google, I don't think that's really an issue. I think Facebook has their own issues. Apple, maybe a little bit more so. And then we're going to talk later in the show about sort of supply constraints around semis. But make no mistake, if rates continue to go higher, I think it's really negative for the NASDAQ in general. Yeah. I mean, Apple is down for the week by 4%, whereas Alphabet is actually up by a half a percent, which really tells you sort of the bifurcation that's going on within technology when it comes to valuations, Brian Kelly. Yeah, so, and, and as rates goes up, that's gonna, it's gonna hurt valuations. I mean, the whole trade that we've had, frankly, since really 2008, 2009, is there is no alternative to stocks. You can't get yield anywhere else, so why not get it in the stock market? If rates go up and as rates go up, that's gonna take some buyers out of the stock market, maybe back into bonds to get those yields. Now, where yields go, in my view, I think we're going closer to 2%. If you look at 10-year yields versus the CRB, the Commodity Index, the Commodity Index has absolutely ripped higher this year, and 10-year yields have diverged. They're going higher, but not anywhere close to how high the uh, Commodity Index has gone. And so I think we go to 2%. I think the Fed panics. I think they cap rates at 2% uh, for the foreseeable future, just like they did during the 1950s. And that's going to make gold fly and all of that. I don't know what it's going to do to the stock market, um, you know, because if we do get some sort of inflationary situation, I do not agree with Janet Yellen. I do not think the Fed has the tools to stop this type of inflation. Guy, what happened to gold, though? It's still not working. Yeah. And again, if you had told me all the things would take place, you know, six months ago, where's the price of gold? I would have said easily north of the all time high twenty four hundred, if not north of three thousand. And here we are languishing. You know, there are a lot of people that say and I'm not in this camp necessarily, but I understand it, that, you know, Bitcoin has taken a lot of the um, a lot of the juice away from the gold market. A lot of people put their efforts towards that. That does make sense in terms of what's happened. There are a lot of people that say these higher rates are actually negative for gold. Maybe that's true in the short term, but in the longer term, I think there's going to come a point where it flips. And I do think it's going to be that one and a half percent level in the 10 year, both for the stock market and the gold market. So definitely I've been wrong for months now in gold, Mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean the gold trade is over by any by any stretch. 